haven't seen you for a while. It's good to have you back. Hello everyone and welcome to Apex Gaming and today we are going to continue playing Detroit Become Human and this time we are going accessing the story chart the chapter you know the nest we have already completed Jericho and we are going to continue from this particular chapter and in case if you are interested in purchasing the game and create your own version of the story the link will be down in the description along with the link where you can check the previous videos uh, through the playlist and yeah this game has been so far exciting and I am going to probably after completion after completing the main story I am probably going to check out the different scenarios for in each of the chapters so let's continue shall we and before proceeding further make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel and if you have anything to say there's a comment section use the that. most important thing is not to live but to have a reason to live that's a quote from Jean Jonot, a French writer. Different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Straight. Hey, you won't regret this. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. I think our relationship got off on the wrong foot. We should forget what happened and start over. What do you say? Look, they sent me a piece of plastic for a partner and I'm dealing with it. But if you think we're gonna be buddies, you're as stupid as you look. Here you go. Ah, oh, thanks, Gary. Leave that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. See? Hey, 
This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet? Yeah. You didn't pay for your meal. Gary's a friend. I scratch his back, he scratches mine. This morning, when we were chasing those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. I, and I don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Can I ask you a personal question, <laughs> Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. You ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Connor, you ran out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh, well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Correct. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it.
Ugh. Jesus, this place stinks. Well, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. Driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Paper. See the pages turning yellow. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Found something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable.
Goddamn fucking pigeons! What are you waiting for? Chase it! You know what they'll do to me if you turn me in. Model 87400-961. Serious malfunctions have been detected in your software, including Class 4 errors. You've been deemed defective and will be sent back to Cyberlife for deactivation. Don't you fucking move. You bastard. You saw I was gonna fall and you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking mission! I had to make a choice. It seemed to me... What am I to you? A statistic? A zero? A one in your fucking program? Huh? Is that how you see humans, you bastard? Jesus. I understand you're upset. Perhaps I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment! Come here. Why are you doing this? All right. You're one of us. Shut up! You're helping humans, but you're just their slave. I said shut up! All right, come along. All right, now you save me. Hey, what the fuck? Holy shit. Fucking androids. I want to correct this. I don't want this to happen actually.
I want this to be in a different way. Accessing the story chart. Listen, I got a shit hot tip for you. Number five in the third. Lickety split. And Philly's one hell of a chaser. You wanna flood it? Last shit hot tip you gave me sent me back a week's wage to spend. <laughs> Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Straight. Hey, you won't regret this. What is your problem? Won't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. Sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nosing apology program. As if Cyberlife thought everything, huh? Here you go. Ah. That thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. See? This Pedro? proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet? Yeah. I don't want to alarm you, Lieutenant, but I think your friends are engaged in illegal activities. Well, everybody does what they have to to get by. As long as they're not hurting anybody, I don't bother them. This morning, when we were chasing those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. I, and I don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? 
Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? I'm focused on the case, Lieutenant. Not here to make judgments. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. I should go have a look. I'll let you finish your work. I'll be in the car if you need me. Hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need... Need more cops. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Shit. Wish I could do that. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. place stinks. Well, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's... Gone. Found something? I don't know. 
It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. books. I thought I was...
for? Chase it! My fault. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's all right. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. Hey, Connor. Nothing. All right guys, so this was the place where we ended the video and yeah, it was fun. It was actually fun and we are going to continue playing the game, you know, for the next mission. Uh, which I think is the time to decide and yeah, after that we are going to like continue from the next video. So, see you later.